Okay, we've been given this triangle here and we have to work out the distance CB. So from there all the way to there. Okay, well we don't have a lot of information to go on. We know that's a right angle and that's a right angle. So how do we start? Well, let's look at this smaller right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is 13 and this is 5 and that should ring a bell because you may have heard of 3, 4, 5 triangles, okay? That's a right angle triangle when this side is 4 and that is 3, the hypotenuse is always 5 because of Pythagoras' theorem, okay? See, 5 squared is exactly equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared, okay? All three are integers, it's really nice and neat. So you may have heard of a 3, 4, 5 triangle. If you haven't, remember it now, okay? But it's also a 5, 12, 13 triangle. When the hypotenuse is 13, okay, and this side is 12, then this one is exactly 5 because 13 squared is exactly equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared, okay? So remember 3, 4, 5 triangles and remember 5, 12, 13 triangles, okay? And that's what we've got here. It's a 5, 12, 13. So straight away we can say that this is 12 centimeters from A to there. Okay, good, good start. So now we have to work out CB. <clears throat> well, how the heck do we do that? We've been given no angles other than these two right angles. We don't know AC. Well, firstly, if you find yourself in this situation in an exam with not much information on the diagram, but you see two right angles, it's a very good chance that it's going to be a similar triangles question. Okay. And in fact, it is a similar triangles question. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right. The similar triangles are the big one, ABC, and this one, okay? They are similar triangles for this reason. Consider this angle here, okay? That angle is definitely part of ABC. It is angle ABC. So it's definitely part of the big triangle and it's definitely part of the smaller triangle. I'm gonna call that D, why not? It's part of A, B, D as well, okay? So, look at the big triangle, A, B, C. You have a right angle in it. This angle here, I'm gonna call it theta, why not? So the big triangle has a right angle, theta, and this third angle. Let's call this third angle um, gamma, okay? So that's the big triangle. Now look at the little triangle, ABD. This triangle has a right angle in it, like the big one, theta in it, like the big one, and so therefore its third angle must also be gamma because each triangle has three angles in it. If two of them are theta and a right angle, the third one must be the same for both. Does that make sense? And therefore we have similar triangles. Both of them are composed of a right angle, theta and gamma. Good. So therefore, using that information, we can say that the ratio of 
the hypotenuse to either of the other sides for both triangles is the same. Similar triangles, the consequence of that or property of similar triangles is that the ratio of their sides is the same. So we can say that the hypotenuse divided by, um, let's say the, we'll call it the smallest side. So for the big triangle, the smallest side is this one. For the little triangle, the smallest side is this one. The ratio of the hypotenuse to the small side for the big triangle is exactly the same as the ratio of the hypotenuse to the smallest side for the small triangle. Okay, That's a property of similar triangles. So that's what we're going to use to solve this problem. Just put in the numbers. Okay, what's the hypotenuse of the big triangle? That's what we want. <clears throat> it's CB. So therefore, CB over small side of the big triangle is 13. Equals hypotenuse of the small triangle. Hypotenuse of the small triangle is 13. The small side of the small triangle is that, it's five. Okay, therefore, let's bring the 13 up here, CB equals 13 times 13 over 5, which is 169 over 5. Stick it in your calculator and you get CB equals 33.8 centimetres. That's it. That's how you do similar triangles.